Hey guys, I didn't actually intend to film this video today. I decided to try something different with my makeup, not this look. I will explain. I decided I'm gonna go back to how I used to do my makeup in when I was a teenager. Let's try doing some bright stuff again. Like if you used to watch my really early videos, I don't know why you would. Um, I used to do loads of bright makeup. That was like my thing. <laughs> so I was like, wow, I'm gonna try and do like a really good blended pink, vibrant, fuchsia, purple, like Barbie has vomited on my face look. And I did it and I looked at myself in the mirror and I just thought, I look like I should be in glow. Good show, you should go and watch it. Basically, it was very bright, very 80s, very shimmery, and just not my thing anymore. So, it made me think, I really, really need to get on and declutter my makeup. So, that's what we're doing today. If you have been watching for the last few months, you will know that I um, had to move back to my parents' house. Uh, I won't go into details, you can watch the video here, or here, I can never work out which way it's going to be on the screen. It will be in a card. Um, and I did do a lot of decluttering when I moved, but um, the makeup was oh, like a huge task, and I could not face it. So I am back, I am stronger, we're going to do it today. First off, I'm going to show you, like, my makeup bag. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to show you this is the stuff I use every day. And then we're going to tackle the top drawer of my makeup chest of drawers. I'm not joking. It's the chest of drawers. It's that purple thing there. That is stacked full of makeup. And then we're going to tackle the second drawer in another video. So this will be a two-part video, hopefully. It could be six months before I do the next drawer. I hope not. Okay. Let's show you. Right, so this is like my little makeup collection that I use every day. I also have a drawer with like the palettes, anti-back wipes, and some contact lenses that I also use every day. So we've got like my favorite makeup collect um, obsession palette, my favorite what's this stuff, highlighter palette, and my Naked Basics. There should be another couple in there, like my, oh there it is, my fire one, which I got for um, Christmas from Nathan. Oh, that's hair stuff, we don't need to look at that. And then, poodle over here, excuse the chocolates on the floor, <laughs> we have got, oh, this camera, the little thing keeps going, we have got this drawer. Okay, so we've got some hair stuff up here. This is all palettes, this is, well, it's a hot mess. It was organised once upon a time, um, and now everything is just kind of chucked in there. I don't know what's in there. I hardly ever even open that drawer. Um, yeah, and then the bottom drawer is bangles and hair stuff. Look, oh, these are lovely. My friend makes these. So we're going to tackle this drawer. I'm going to try and lift it out one-handed. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but look at it. It's full. This is all palettes. This is probably... Do you know what? I actually try to think how much money is in this drawer. And that makes me cry. Okay, I can't lift this out. So I'll put you back on your little frame and um, we shall delve in quite scarily oh. the drawer right okay this was the first makeup palette i bought it is urban decay i don't even know what the palette is called it's so old i think this is about eight or nine years old i have actually got one of the colors on my eyes today because um i will open it up it still <laughs> has these gross little things in it they can definitely be chucked away Oh no, I got, oh shit. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Oh, um, I got makeup on my bed. Oops, need to change my sheets today. Um, so I actually am wearing this colour today. Oh, what's it called? Scratch. Um, but I tried to do a whole look with this colour. Like, you can tell that I used to wear these colours a lot because they are almost at the pan. Honey was my jam. Honey was went on everything. Right, um, I actually am going to keep that because I still do use some of the colours and it's, I know it sounds lame but this was like my introduction to not luxury makeup, you know, not drugstore makeup. So I'm keeping that. 
I'm keeping this palette. This is the Urban Decay Volume 2 of the Book of Shadows. Is that what it's called? Vice. Vice palette. Vice palette. Vice palette. And um, it, it was, I loved this. And this was like, I think I bought this for like my 19th or 20th birthday. And I just, I don't know. This is another really nice palette. I mean, actually, no. It's starting to go moldy. Maybe I'll just take some of the some of the shades out. I don't know. I don't want to throw it away. I still use those colours. Sellout was beautiful. Oh, this palette, never used. Never, ever, ever used this palette. Um, so it's going to go. Vice 4, this was my fortune. When I was really, really poor, this was spent. This was birthday money as well. My birthday is kind of near Black Friday, so um, I kind of save my money until Black Friday and get some bargains in that. And I, I absolutely, I do love this palette. This is like, oh, yeah, that's definitely being kept. Right. I forgot. That's the kept pile. That's the kept pile. These oh, kids don't buy makeup from from China, but. These eyelashes are pretty cute, so they're being kept. I don't think the eyelashes are that bad, are they? I think it's like if you use the glue. That's the worst stuff, right? Oh god. Please don't kill me. This, I'm probably going to throw away. Wait, should I? It was so cheap, and it was from eBay, and I don't really trust it, and I don't really like these colours. I never use them. I'm being ruthless, it's going in the bin. It's also broken. Another set of eyelashes, which I really love. Actually, I really love these ones, and I barely have used them. Ooh, I need to start wearing eyelashes again. Um, this was the Los Angeles kit from the Christmas collection last year. Another present from the ex-boyfriend. Eyelashes that I will never wear, they are going. This sleek palette, oh my god, I did a video about this when I last lived here, um, yeah, I don't love it anymore, and sleek has got so much better, that was the one thing actually, where's it gone, the difference from Urban Decay at this point to Urban Decay at this point was huge, like when I reused this palette today, I was like, the fallout is gross, the colours are gross, they're not pigmented, and then you use this and it's so much better. Anyway, Sleek has also improved. I'm actually a bit scared to open this palette because I think all the shades, like, they just crumble. Oh god, yeah, I mean, it's going mouldy and, um, I, let's face it, never wear these colours anymore. Then more eyelashes that I never use and never wear, but oh no, these were really nice. These are like two third lashes, not half, not full, two third. They're perfect for like if you have slightly smaller eyes, like I do. Um, this hula was another treat, and I love it. I really enjoy buying makeup at this size. I still haven't used loads of it. Oh, I forgot I had that. Um. Basically, this was like £22. It was the same price as buying Hoola as a full bronzer. And um, I still really enjoy that. Anyway. Eyelashes that I'm not going to use. Hair wrap. No, I want to keep that. I need that. Oh, no, I loved this. This was like, I think I bought these at the same time, actually. Um, get Baked. That was also, this was like... I used to wear gold eyeshadow everywhere. What's this? Revolution, so it hasn't even, you can't even see, look, you might just be able to see Revolution on there. This was a Makeup Revolution contour kit. I still really enjoy it. I have hit pan in some of them. Um, this is great for under my eyes. The contours are actually a little bit warm though. I don't use those, but the, the, it's not really a banana powder, but you know, the yellow shade is pretty good. This is another Benefit one, which I don't think I do use, do I? No, I don't really use that. I think, oh, it's all just come apart in my hands. 
No, everything is so shimmery and I'm not a shimmer person really, so I think I'm going to throw this one away. Um, this was a collection, uh, supposed to be like a contour kit, it was supposed to be like an everything in one kit, so you're supposed to have like your highlighter, your eyeshadows, your blusher, your bronzer, um, and it was pants, so that can go in the bin. Oh, this is like the um, makeup collection, makeup revolution, sorry, um, salted caramel kit, which is supposed to be like the Too Faced palettes. Um, I do actually really like this and it still smells of salted caramel. Uh, I kind of need to start using this palette again, it has some beautiful colours in there. This is a great dupe, I would use this instead of the Naked One palette I think this is a dupe for. Actually I think I need to put this in my everyday drawer, I'm going to put this in my everyday drawer. A CC cream that never worked. It's like boom boom. Makeup brushes, makeup brushes, makeup brushes. Um, nothing to say about them. More makeup brushes. Old Costa coffee badges. I keep these for mementos. Because look, I was a Marista Maestro. Oh, nice lashes that I forgot I had. I thought I'd lost these. Mm -mm, they can stay. Um, an Urban Decay sampler of lipstick. In. <gasps> my favourite red lipstick I found you you know when like you think a, something has fallen out your bag I was convinced this had fallen out my bag I found you mm. I had a review on this as well and I love it oh I yes no I know she's looking in the bin a brush which has Rusted together, bin. A foundation which was pretty rubbish. Thought this was supposed to be like a light foundation to wear in the summer. No, it was pants. <sighs> We've come to it. We've come to it. The worst. Can't even open it. Urban Decay palette I have ever bought. Um, I think this was like this was a bargain one. I think it was like eighteen pound is a bargain for Urban Decay palettes and I convinced myself that like actually I do really like these colours these are the colours that I wear most on my eyes um but the pigmentation is just pants and I actually can't find any records of this palette anywhere I can't find what it was called so if you know leave a comment below um I'm gonna chuck it because I, it's just every time I <laughs> every time I use it I get angry uh, let's see if we can do some, I bet they swatch quite nice. So that swatch is okay, but I just, it wasn't very good on my, just, oh, now I'm covered, I need to get a makeup wipe. Urban Decay Primer Potion, actually this can go in my everyday drawer as well, because my other one has just run out. I'm going to chuck these in the bin. Oh, does it have glue in it? No, I don't think so. Um, bought these as a novelty thing. I was like, oh, let me do some brightly coloured festival looks and put these on. And um, I don't think it's ever going to happen. I know, do I keep them? Maybe, maybe I will do a weird avant garde makeup look one day. This I bought for my 21st birthday. So even this is five years old. I and mean, it looks kind of gross. But I don't hate it and I kind of want to have sparkly nails again one day. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Sleek blush. I've been looking for this. This is like my favourite um, summer blush colour. Keep that. Those are these things. The thing is, this drawer was only ever supposed to be palettes. And I'm finding like things I really freaking love in there that I thought I'd lost. So this was a good thing. Ruby and Millie. Do they even exist anymore? This is when I was going through my really grungy phase and I was like, I'm going to buy different colours of black makeup. Um, and basically they all just come out black. So that can go in the bin. It was cute though. Aww. So, I think, I think I did okay. It was good to go through everything and throw some things away. Um... I found two of my favourite makeup products again. 
and I, I've cleared out stuff that I've been meaning to throw away anyway. Um, I'm still scared of the second draw so we're not going to do that today, we're going to film that another day, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. But yeah, I, I feel a little cleansed. So that brings me to the end of that video. Tell me what you think. Do you think I have too much makeup? Should I have thrown away things a bit more ruthlessly? Am I too sentimental? Give me a thumbs up if you like this or you think I should do another one or just give me a thumbs up because it's really nice. It's nice to be a nice person. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. Until next time guys, bye bye. Thank you.